to be here today. I am so thankful that every time I go around the world and get up in front of anybody, that I always talk about the hope that we can all have. I am never a person to say that I understand anybody's pain, but I want you to know that in your life, can you stop coming up here? Thank you so much. We are here to present a mime show, theme of Save Agriculture and Build Irrigation Projects. I am repeating, Save Agriculture and Build Irrigation Projects. Thank you. to my event because tickets were charged. Can I thank everyone once again for tonight 
because of all their support and all their sponsorship, not one dollar was charged to you to come tonight. I want them to know that when we look at hope, hope is priceless and hope should not have a charge. And I tell you right now, I want you to probably know I'll have to charge next time I come to India. But I want to tell you, when you go through choices of giving back, when you do good, it's wonderful. Planting seeds of love, planting seeds of hope, planting seeds of strength, these are the things that I can reap in my life. I want you to know that today I have a dream and I think you're a part of it. I think that you're a part of the 200 million people to give $2 a day one day. But before we raise up an army, I find me the toys. They said make money and you need to buy your own toys. I was six years old and I learned how to vacuum the floor with my shoulder and my chin and I earned roughly two dollars a week to do my chore at home. I am so thankful that my parents did not give me everything I wanted, when I wanted it and how I wanted it. I'm also thankful that my parents told me that Nick when you do become successful do not forget those who don't have food. Do not forget those who don't have a home. And I'm so thankful that these values and these attitudes and these principles of thanksgiving has now followed me all the way throughout my life. I am so thankful that at age 19, not only was I successful at stock trading on the stock market, not only did I buy my first home in real estate, but I also gave away money to the poor and needy in Africa, and I sponsored 10 children to have food, water, education, a home, and a chance to dream big. My parents dreams to the heavens, so if they miss, they're still up there with the sound. And I do want to talk about the power of belief, but one more thing about gratitude, ready? Your dreams, your goals, your success, being married, or even having children. Do not put your happiness in temporary things, because your happiness will be temporary. Many people put hope in money. There is nothing wrong with having a lot of money. But when you put your success as your happiness, sometimes you achieve your goals and still lack thanksgiving. So remember, when you go through depression, to be thankful for 10 things that you're thankful for. Number two, that you don't have to go through this life alone. Talk to someone with your feelings. Human beings have human feelings. When you don't feel, that's when you become less alive. Be aware of the disabilities of the brokenness of your mind and your heart. Because if you do not address these limitations in your heart and your mind, you will not also achieve all the success in front of you. The third thing, I want you to understand this about getting out of depression, which is something so powerful for me. When I used to go to school, or when I used to go to college and university, so many times I was wondering, would I ever get married? Would I ever have children? Will I ever have a purpose in my life? Will I ever have my heart that is healed? You know that I tried to commit suicide at age 10. This has been life changing for you. I hope that tonight, that you have seen that dreams can come true. I hope tonight that you realize that we have the power of gratitude. Resistance is okay, it's part of life, but it's those who never give up, who become resilient, who go all the way. I hope tonight you go all the way. I hope tonight you dream big like never before. I hope tonight you stop bullying yourself 
about the things that are not going correct. And I want you to know that you are a world changer. You can make a difference in your life. I love you so, so much. Continue to change the world one step at a time. And remember, the power of unity of this campus alone and the hundreds of universities out there, I believe that you can make a big world. So much to the coordination of all the efforts. I want you to get your phones out one more time and I want to do a quick video of, me, of Gio taking a video. Get your phones out, get your flashlights out and I'm going to have you say I love you to all my social media fans. Ready? So I want you to get ready. Gio is here and he is going to take a video. Everyone get your phones out. Give me a big wave. and lifting your aspirations. Thank you so very much, Nick. I will now call upon our, our registrar, Dr. James Stephen. Would you please come forward for a second? So we all give a great round of applause, please, from Andhra University. Extend my deep sense of gratitude for visiting this university, a historic and renowned university. And I also thank all of you, especially the police department and all the principals of the affiliated colleges and, you know, all of you especially.